you see I'm doing really well in my let's not eat any carbs. <laughs> I think at this stage of my life I'm destined to be a little fat. Sorry that um, Facebook that you just have Alan's back, but oh. but it is green. Yeah. Hi. There it is. Thank you. He's just almost okay. finished making the drinks. Okay, almost. I'll almost. step over here. Oh, hi, Amethyst. Hey, Christy. Hi. <laughs> so, it's St. Patrick's morning, Day. Top of the morning to you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. My people, do you all know that my name is Suzanne Mahoney? That Summers was my first husband. And Hamel. But he wasn't really your husband. Yes, he was. No. Yes, he was. No, it was annulled. Well, that's true. That's true. But anyway, he's the father of my child. <laughs> and say he was a perfect, perfect father for my child. And so, then I uh, met Alan Hamill. So I guess I'm really your first husband. You are. That's how you want it, isn't That's it? That's right. He's a little possessive. Have you noticed, girls? <laughs> so um, we thought for St. Patrick's today we'd meet at Big Al's bar. And have a tequila because that's all they drink in Ireland now. Did you know that, Carl? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, everybody's yeah. drinking tequila. I like to think I started it, but I didn't. And um, and we're making corned beef and cabbage, as you would imagine. And the cabbage, as you would imagine, is from my garden, as you would imagine. And the corned beef? Is from my garden. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I raise corned beef. Yeah. 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 It's actually a corned beef that has legs, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And we um, we corn them. We corn our corned beefs. <laughs> yeah. Why do they call it corn? Beef? I don't know. You peppercorn, know, right? You know, what? I was... Isn't huh? it from peppercorns? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't think any Irish housewife ever had a peppercorn in her life. You know what corned beef and cabbage is? I was making it today, and I'm used to making things a little more complex. It's just... They threw some some meat in the pot that they corned for whatever reason. Maybe that was a preservative thing. It's brine. It was a brine? Yeah. Okay, Can we brined it. Okay, I have an expert sitting at the table. Yes. He's a little shy, but before the hour's over, you'll meet him because we're plying him with alcohol. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You can I see mean, him. he's my friend Carl. There we go. Hi. Hi, yeah. Carl. Carl. The, the other Irish hat. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yep. I picked up Carl on a Carl beach is a bit of, he, he is a bit of a migraine, so he's just hanging he to the side. He's hanging in there, though. He's, yeah. He's, he's Do you? He's excited a little bit. It's a no problem. Well, well tequila, when you feel like joining. That's why I'm having a tequila. Yeah. I figured yeah. that yeah. would do it. Yeah, we, we, we met Carl uh, 35 years ago uh -huh. on a beach in San Tropez. Mm -hmm. And Suzanne and I, this was in the 70s, mm -hmm. when Three's Company was on, and we just had to get away in the summertime just for some sanity. So we went to France, and France wasn't carrying Three's Company, so nobody knew who Suzanne was in, no. in France. Plus, Even in San Tropez, in we went to a gay beach club. Mm -hmm. So between no one knowing who she was and the fact that uh, the guys there were gay, it was a cool place for us Fun. to spend part of our summer. And the owner dressed up like the Pope, and he looked like the Pope. Exactly. Remember? Exactly. Yeah. Paul. Yeah. And his Paul name was Pope. Paul. Yeah, That's Paul right. the Pope. He wore Paul. a Pope's outfit. <laughs> so, uh, there were and our waiters were dressed like nuns, if you right. remember. The, right. And yes, the waiters were dressed really? like nuns. Really? Oh my God, it was fun. percent men and 30% women, and all the women were topless. I mean, it's France. Women go topless on the beach. That's the way it is. It's no big deal. Here it's a big deal, but in France it's no big deal except for Suzanne Summers. And she would lay on her stomach and undo that thing at the top. And then she'd sit up and she'd do it back up. And then she'd lay down and she would undo it. And then she'd sit up and she'd do it. And I said, Suzanne, What'd you say? nobody cares here, okay? Nobody knows who you are. The guys are gay, take off your top. So she took off her top and within 15 seconds, Carl and his partner walked by and said, Hi, Chrissy. How's Jack and Janet? <laughs> <laughs> and that was the and beginning. we've been the start of a beautiful yeah, friendship. Yes, the start of a beautiful friendship. Oh, cheers. Huh. Well, those were fun days. I forgot about the waiters dressed as nuns. That yeah, was fabulous. Yeah, and... Um, they tried to get them on roller skates, but it didn't work. Well, it's hard on the sand. It's really tough. Yeah, it's really hard on the sand. But it was a wonderful era. There were eras, and I, we, we were all talking last night. We had a little dinner party here, and we are all talking about different eras we've experienced. And, er, and happenings, eras, only last 
for the time they last. The other thing that uh, Al and I experienced, and you did too, did you, is Studio 54. And oh, Studio 54, fabulous. at its height, and I was watching on Netflix Studio 54, I'm even in it. Um, it was a wow, it was really a wow. Well, we were there in those days between 77, was it 77, yeah, between 77 and 80, we, for, I can't remember why, we had to go to New York almost every week. So we'd go to New York, and every night we'd go to Studio 54. It was so fun. And if you want to see how stupid I look dancing, just Google Suzanne Summer Studio 54. He didn't look stupid. He's a cool dancer. You look like you were having fun. We might not. We oh, might get fun. him dancing yeah. today. You know, yeah. we've got the music going. You never know. You never know. He's been known to dance, and he's a cool dancer. So odd question for yeah. St. Patrick's Day, uh -huh. but have you been to Ireland? Yeah. Yes. Yes, in fact, when we went... Uh, we stayed at Merv Griffin's house. Which was, it belonged to... To John Houston. John Houston. Oh. Uh, and that's where Angelica Houston grew up. And, and Angelica had her own little dollhouse. Oh. Li literally, oh. a little stone house oh. that was her dollhouse. Remember dollhouses? Wow. Down the street from where I lived, there was a, a old couple, and they had a, a handmade dollhouse in the back they made for their grandchildren. And I would stare longingly over the fence and and look at the and you know occasionally the guy would feel sorry for me and say do you want to come in and play in the dollhouse yes yes which guy was that the old guy oh. who who with the, he and his wife <laughs> oh. no it was his, the grandfather <laughs> and i remember those days uh, you know i'm a homemaker what i love most really I'm really happy making home and cooking and making nice and making house. And it started way back then, maybe in that little dollhouse. So Angelica had that little dollhouse, and it was a beautiful place. And um, um, uh, Ireland is a beautiful place, but I'm happy that we live where we live. Yeah, actually, Ireland really is green and wonderful. Yeah. And the, the cows are kind of shaggy. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And Merv had said to us before Merv Griffin had said to us before we went, "Don't eat anywhere else except at my home." <laughs> he said, "I have a Japanese chef there who's incredible. He's the, probably the best chef in Ireland, and there's no need to go anywhere else." So every day we'd have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Merv's place, and the, the chef was incredible. And the young ladies who were the service people. Oh, he loved the little. I love these oh, love the Irish servers. girls with the with the rosy cheeks, and the great skin. Now we know and, they had rosacea. <laughs> and the, <laughs> and red Probably hair, problems. red and blonde hair, <laughs> and happy. Freckles. Yeah, great, great. All look like my mother. My mother had red hair and freckles. You knew her when she had white hair, but my young mother. So had one red day hair and I said, you know what? Let's go out for lunch somewhere. Let's get out of here for lunch. So we drove and drove and drove and. We got to some place on the water, and I guess it was like a bar or something. A yeah. Restaurant bar we yeah. went in, and we each ordered. We both ordered different things, and when it came, both things we ordered looked exactly alike, and we didn't know exactly what it was <laughs> right. we were going to eat. Right. Stew, so right? We paid our bill, it's some kind of stew. left, yeah. and went back to Merv's place and had lunch. Yeah. Well, it was a Japanese chef, and I was hoping to get some real Irish cuisine, but at that time, there really wasn't. And my mother, I will miss her all my life. She's the most beautiful person. A big part of her I based on Chrissy Snow. You know, her famous line was when she said to me, what time is midnight mass? That's my mother. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she boiled everything to death. She, I grew up hating vegetables because she boiled them till they were like mush. Anybody have mothers like that? It's the way they, they used to cook asparagus until it was mushy, remember? And bus, yeah. Brussels sprouts were mushy. Any, everything was mushy. How about the mo moms who took the canned beans and then boiled oh, them to not my, No, my mother wouldn't do that. We had well, fresh. My mother didn't canned beans. Can oh, wait a minute. No, at that time, maybe you all remember this. The only magazine the women were reading was Ladies Home Journal. And Ladies Home Journal and Good Housekeeping and uh, Red Book. No, I don't think well maybe Red Book. Well, my mother didn't read Red Book. Those Playboy were the stories. No, she didn't read that. <laughs> Play Girl. Right. But they all got the same recipes from those magazines. I know some of you know this recipe. Take a can of green beans. A can? A can of green beans. Oh, no. You drain it. 
And then you the put it in a casserole, probably. then you put the uh, Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, and then oh. on top of that, you open a can of French fried onions, onions. and put that on the top, <laughs> and that was gourmet. <laughs> Most people still make that for Thanksgiving. That's, love that. I mean, that's a still a very is common. It? Oh, is yeah. It? Green so bean casserole for Thanksgiving is still dinner. really three common. Cans. Yeah. Three cans for dinner. Right. A three-can right. dinner. I have to say, when we were having that, that I loved it. That was a lot better than boiled to death Brussels sprouts. But what's amazing is or bad Susan fish. is or a bad world fish. class Stinky fish. <laughs> Who is? Okay. Suzanne is a world class cook, and I'm not bragging. I'm not saying it because <laughs> I'm trying to impress okay, you. Got two, okay, got too many here. What well, do you example, taste, Caroline? Last night, I, Caroline I, is I, I triple the vote on Suzanne being a world class so cook. So last night, Suzanne, we had a little dinner party, and Suzanne cooked dinner. Tell them what you made. I made um, a, a salad to die for from the garden, and I put a s sliced red onion and black olives and feta cheese and our Meyer lemon olive oil that a lot of you have and are loving, and sea salt and black pepper. That's all I need. It didn't need anything else, did it? Delicious. It didn't need mm -hmm. anything else. And it came, Everybody came, ate it. It so all came fresh. from our garden, yeah. You know, yeah. In, including the cheese. We have goats and we milk them, okay? And Suzanne <laughs> makes the cheese, right? You do. Are you starting to lie now? Lying a little bit. I'm not lying. That's fitting. <laughs> yeah. I I haven't seen the goats today. Okay. <laughs> or maybe Do you know? Tomorrow. <laughs> I'll tell you something. In Malibu, the properties that survived the fire were the properties up in the mountains in Malibu who had goats. A lot of people in Malibu have animals, and the reason the property with the goats uh, survived is the gro goats ate all the brush, yeah. and so the fire jumped over those properties. Mm. Isn't that something? That's amazing. I love goats. Anyway, so today I'm making corned beef and cabbage, which we will go down there. But I realized um, it's not, it's like they had the brined corned beef probably to, they did their slaughtering and needed some, a way to it's save it through it. the winter. It's yeah, the okay. So they had this brined, preserved corned beef, and they stuck it in a pot and threw some vegetables in with some water. I wish you hadn't said slaughtered. Well, that uh, eliminated. Now it's like, now it's taking on a whole no, different meaning. No, 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 this, is, this, this has been dead for a long time. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> How right. long? Right. Right. So there's, there's a lizard behind you. <laughs> there's a lizard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I have uh, some bad news to tell you all. I hate to deliver bad news, and then we'll get into what's for sale today. Do I know what the news mm -hmm. is? Hank left. And we're so sad. He's been gone now close to two weeks, huh? And I kept yeah. thinking he would come back. He stayed for a month. As quickly as he came into our life is as quickly as he uh, left. And I have a feeling he overheard us saying that this was the week that we we're going to have him neutered. And he probably went, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> he also, he met, accidentally, he met Gloria. I was in my office and I heard, wow, this, these noises. And I ran to the foyer of our bedroom and there was Gloria and Hank they were nose to nose through the glass through the glass yeah. yeah backs up both of them backs up and Hank really wanted to get in our bedroom and we were being protective of Gloria because she's older and we don't want her to think that we're replacing her and so we didn't let Hank in so maybe he got mad because we didn't let him in Maybe you overheard us talking about we're going to get rid of those beautiful little hairy yeah, I think balls. It's the neutering, forget yeah. the rest. Yeah, right. <laughs> <But you> know, <laughs> All the men respond, yeah. right? Yeah. That's yeah, the right. neutering. Right. Right. <laughs> What's interesting is that he after, could just be mating. After Gloria and, and Hank met, <coughs> uh, Gloria, <coughs> in the middle of every night after that for about a week, <coughs> would jump into bed and attack my yeah. arm. Like Gloria trying to would? do bad things yeah. to Alan's she would arm. Attack my arm and make wow. sounds I've never heard like before. Like primal, yeah. primal sounds. So, and I think they might have been because we leave the window open there. They might have been talking to one another. Like Caroline said, maybe, maybe he's out mating because the morning that he left. Here's another thing that happened. The morning that he left, I was doing yoga with my yoga teacher here, and she has cats at home, and he was fascinated by her shoes and smelling her shoes and. And then smelling her feet and coming around, and then I do he, the same thing. With her <laughs> and then he got on her leg and started humping her leg, and 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 he was howling. Oh, wow. yeah, I don't do so that. So I think he went into heat that day. So, but the vet said he still had a, 
a I while. Know. The vet said it wasn't a rush, and he's still young. Yeah, and... they didn't they didn't feel, but I think he was more ready than we thought. You know, he's a he's a young boy out on his own Stuff. early on. Yeah. Look at this lizard. Well, look at this lizard. That's creepy. Oh, yeah. This is living in the desert. That you see a like pink we're here. That Let's looks see like if a baby. That would be lizard. gone. That looks like a Do you baby. Need your uh, chuckle, chuckle wire. Is that what you use? Yeah, but I, I have one. I have one. Uh, we can share what's left. No, it's can you guys see the lizard? Yep, there Look how camouflaged they are. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's life in the desert. The so we are we are we are your... praying for a for a Hank return. Yeah, so send and... me your good messages. Don't say anything mean to me because I actually really have a heartache heartache about it. Um, I dream, dreamt about him the other night. I know. I did. I, I dreamt about it. Then he came back, and in my dream, he was all wiggly around you and me and all happy to be back again. And I woke up thinking, he's back. And I went around, he's not back. He's the not wiggly back. Yeah, and also, I'm, just going, I'm just going to ask. Suzanne and Alan are really upset about this. We all are. Yeah. So I know a lot of you had thoughts and feelings about what was the best way to deal with Hank, and you should have, and you could have. And I would just ask that you be you be sensitive with your comments because as any parent who has something go wrong with a pet, um, of course we feel responsible and uh, wish there was something we could have done differently and we have no idea if anything that you did or did not do had anything to do with Hank staying or not going and I just want people to be sensitive. What I know is he's alive because this guy was just so resourceful and you couldn't catch him. Smart. So, he was the smartest. Yeah, so smartest. he probably is out mating with every female Cat and that's too bad he was, on, he was on vacation and went home went home and went home right, <laughs> right. i was a wonderful month up here food water a nice place to sleep he sure. slept in your seat you know uh, nathan who comes here every so often i was talking to him yesterday about uh, his cats he, he was on a, i guess he was raised on a farm and they had a bunch of females and one male so instead of neutering the male they neutered all the females and so, how do you feel about that, Caroline? So it doesn't feel right. No, so either apparently way. I said, so how did that work? With, so we you know, deal it in, with it in this with kingdom. The, the male, I mean, the male, Mostly. you know, well, that's true. the horny male, you know, yeah. how did that work? He said, every time he'd go near one of the females, the female would whack him in the face with one of her paws. Yeah. I said, I'm not interested. I'm not into mm. okay. Just not that into you. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Um, I believe he'll be there. back. Yes, there's a lesson. There's a lesson I believe there. he'll be back. I really do. <laughs> and if not, what a wonderful month we had with him. It was a full month. Absolutely. I loved it. was everything. a lot of healing. I would get Betty. out of bed early to go see Hank. I, when we'd come home at night from wherever we, you know, the desert, come, the ladies just stay out at 10 o'clock. We'd come home and I'd be in the parking lot and I'd go, Hank, beat, beat, beat. He'd come running down the hill. He'd run up beside Aww. a little cart along with us. We were worried he'd get hurt, but no. He knew everything. He knew every rock. So, what Actually, a wonderful month. We, we 10 o'clock is really late for us. Late, yes. I think the latest we stay up in the desert is 9 o'clock, and that's New Year's Eve. Because <laughs> at 9 o'clock in the desert, it's midnight in Times Square. You miss nothing. We watch the ball coming down. You miss nothing. Yeah. Okay. We, we wish each other Happy New Year's, mm -hmm. and we go to bed. So I'm going to interject here for a moment because I have people asking about the big lip care yeah. sale today. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview before Suzanne explains the products because, um, well, we had big news. That was big news about Hank. So, but yeah. we're going to move on to lips. Today is the Kiss Me, I'm Iris show. Um, we have three deals for you today. The first one is uh, that Suzanne's Kiss Me, I'm Irish lip kit. And you're going to get Suzanne's Lip Scrub, which is an organic sugar scrub with her wild orange vanilla scent I in love there. that stuff. Amazing. The Lip Wrinkle Cream. Yeah. If you get those lines around your I lips, you're going to love that. It has organic line fillers in it. Amazing product. And her Coconut Lip Balm in that cute little tin. I and that on every night. This is a, about a $75 value, and today it's only $49.99. Um, when you go to the Supreme kit, we also add two of Suzanne's favorite lip liners. Um, as some of you know, we only have a few lip liners left. This is the, um, the Coral Crush and the Honey Glow, two of Suzanne's favorite colors. And then if you bump all the way up to the Mega, you also get the two lipsticks. That's where I go. The Coral Crush and the Honey Glow. You can see how beautiful those are. Suzanne is wearing them, of course. And the Mega Kit is $175 value, and it's marked down today to 99 
Everything is at SuzanneSummers.com. No promo code needed. Everything is already on sale. The link is right at the top of the feed. Or if you are on Instagram, it's in Suzanne's bio. And that is that. Well, in the desert, and also back east, when I'm back east with all the um, dry air from the... Uh, why, why is it so dry in buildings in the east? In the heat. The, is that, it's air the conditioning heat? and heat, it's yeah. The, my heat, lips, it's, the heat is overpowering the, in these buildings in the winter. Oh, the and my lips take the same hit back east as they do here in the dry, the dry air. And um, the good news is I have not, uh, big lips, but they really dry out bigger <laughs> when you have big lips. And um, every, every, every night, every morning, I put on the lip balm because it's shea butter and, um, and lip, and uh, shea butter and coconut, coconut oil. Oh, the lip balm. Yeah, yeah. shea butter coconut and coconut oil. oil. And, and then wonderful. the lip scrub, it's amazing. It's, it's got like sugar in there and you put it on and just kind of dry, rub off all the dry stuff. Don't pick at it, don't pull it. Have you ever pulled at a piece of dry skin on your lip and then you go, oh, wow, I shouldn't have done that. And then you're aware of it all day long. Ah, oh. So um, this. tastes good. And it tastes good. good. It, tastes good. Yeah. it tastes good. And then the, uh, the, the lip wrinkle cream. Yeah. You know, I always talk about what I like about aging and then what I'm not loving. Uh, lip lines, and I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. But you get lip lines from just life, huh? Well, they're not terribly bad because I'm on hormones, but they're there. Got to like do a little fancy stuff with my lip liner to like smooth that line out. Um, but this kind of fills in. Think of it as lip spackle. Fills it in and it. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do. Spackle is a good thing. Why do you think houses respond to spackle? What do you do with spackle when you're fixing a a wall or whatever you fix with spackle. I haven't worked with spackle in a long time. Have you ever? No. You fill in the holes. Yeah, fill yeah. in the holes. I have a, an Irish thing to say. All right, say it. Okay. You married an Irish woman. I think it's a really very special. Okay. okay. This is an Irish... Are we going to be happy you do this? Yes. This is an Irish friendship wish. Oh. And I hope it works. May there always be work for your hands to do. May your purse always hold a coin or two. May the sun always shine on your window pane. May a rainbow be certain to follow each rain. May the hand of a friend always be near you. May God fill your heart with gladness to cheer you. And may you be in heaven a half hour before <laughs> the devil knows you're dead. <laughs> That's so Irish. Okay, this is what you have to do. Send this to all your friends. I hate when they do this. Yeah, no, always, don't do that. I always yeah. follow through, okay? You do? Oh, just always. in case? It says, if you send it to one person, then you're granted uh, one one wish in a year. Three people, you... <laughs> yeah. You don't have to read that part. No, I'm not But that's to. cute. And may get there before the devil knows you're dead. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Um, tequila in your head. It's tequila in your head. Uh, <laughs> hey. Hey, <laughs> Carl. Carl. So, now... That's that's the lip balm, the lip, the wrinkle lip cream, and the lip scrub, which she just scrubs her hand, which she's so good about doing things like that. Then in the next configuration is the lip liner, lead free. And two all, colors. Two yeah. colors, good things. In it. And that's the end of that. And then in, in the third offering, which I, I'm not trying to spend your money, but I think that's the best offering and the best deal, you get the two lipsticks. I have one of them on. I have Coral Crush on right now and a little bit of the Honey Glow over it. And I think my lips look quite peachy. Goes good with green on St. Patrick's Day. You know, I have been asked mm -hmm. uh, how and why we uh, provide such major discounts to our loyal customers. And the answer is very simple. Uh, many of our customers are new for the first time. I think uh, Caroline said every time we do a show, 40%, yeah. 40%. 40%. 40 percent. Welcome to all of you. New customers. We're at Big Al's Bar today. Yeah, 40% new customers. We want our customers and our new customers to experience full-size products yeah. from our organic line mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because it's good for them. We want to get them away from the synthetics. And so that's what we're doing. And 
Uh, is there profit built? Does yeah, there's a little profit built in, sometimes not. We want you to experience our full size line of yep. Suzanne Organics. Well, you know, uh, what's really terrible is that when you have an organic line, magazines don't want to feature you. And I tried to figure out why would this is like state of the art. This is what's happening. People are really concerned about chemicals and toxicity. But if they put my line, which is all clean, certified toxic free, which means it's uh, we'll get an insignia, you earn it. Uh, grown organically, extracted organically, and nothing upwind or downwind of the product can be toxic to contaminate. Hard guidelines to follow, and we get it on all our stuff. Um, well, almost all our stuff, not all. It's really tough. Some things, there's some ingredients. The, um, the magazines won't feature or do a story about it as a general rule every once in a while, like that magazine I'm on the cover of this week, what, of this, what's that magazine I'm on the cover of this week or month, whatever it is, Something Living? Something um, Living. Something Living. Yeah. Um, they have the courage to do it, but it then begs the question to the other people who are being featured in the magazine with cosmetic lines, well, if yours is so good and there are no chemicals, why do I want to buy the chemical thing? And so it stops what I call the gravy train. And so we've had to rethink our company and uh, sell in a different way. And this is it. This is, we talk right to you. I figure if you're here, uh, I'm preaching to the choir. You're already into this kind of, you know, toxic free lifestyle. I believe it's, it's the secret to thriving and surviving. And Carl knows I'm like, killing him with information this weekend you know, uh, <laughs> but I love passing on what I know there's a bill being proposed in the California can, can you hold one second I've got people asking for the promo code on this there's no promo code guys it's just at suzannesummers.com it's a whole um, the the discounts are already embedded so you don't need any promo code for the sale thanks for asking go ahead okay. sorry there's a bill that's being proposed in the California legislature right now that all cosmetics be organic in the state of California. Oh. Now, Why are we, well, are California we, uh, is a nutty kind of state. They do okay. crazy stuff here, but they always seem to be in the vanguard of what's going to happen in the rest of the country. And, you know, like skateboards started, you know, surfboards, etc. So uh, I'm hoping this bill passes. Yeah, because we'll we're ready. Yeah, we'll certainly, <laughs> we'll be there. Yeah, we're okay. ready. <laughs> But once it passes in California, there will likely be other states that say, you know what, that's a really good idea. Why should we sell poison to our constituents in our state when we can give them something really pure that's actually good for them? So I'm hoping it passes. It's such oh, a high-end you know. product. Yeah. You all know, those of you who've been with me, once you've used this, you won't go back. It's so um, clean and non-irritating. It takes 28 days for complete cell turnover. So stop using all your stuff. This is not, I'm not talking about the lip stuff, but all the other Suzanne Organics. Stop using all your stuff the day for one month, and at the end of the month, go back to your other stuff. Everybody re reports the same thing. Irritation and, and redness, because the skin gets used in 28 days to no chemicals, and then when you put them back on, it goes, whoa, what's that? What? So the 28 days, does that relate to having a period yeah, as well? Yeah, it's all a cycle. Wow. We women are not complicated, even though we're very complicated. What about men? Is it the same for men? Yeah. 28 days? Yeah, yeah, you have a cycle too. Yeah, but we don't have a period. No, not, no. That don't. just happens to be the, the cycle of the skin cells, to yeah. do a complete turnover. Yeah, but but 28 days is the menstrual cycle also, which is what he's... He's That's trying right. to be a naughty boy. No, I'm not. No? No, no, when you say, no it's coincidental and interesting. Yeah. and you 28 days, and the first thing I thought of was a period. Mm -hmm. like, like everybody, everybody thought about that, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I'm getting some shade. Evidently, my, my demonstration of the hand was really bad. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Really? It didn't. Sorry, guys. It, oh. I guess we could try to show you on the lips. I tried to put the lip wrinkle cream on my hand, and I got some la lips. some laughing, oh. like, ha, huh, Caroline, well, nice. Well, we got Alan's lips. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't want to do it on Alan's lips? Uh, I mean, it's not, a, it's not an instant. Here, Al. Okay. Oh, well, you can do the lip. The, here, this one's open. The lip scrub. Great. Yeah. Okay. You know, I've never used... Uh, uh, what, lip balm? No, you haven't. I, even I played hockey every day uh, growing up. I never used lip okay. balm. Close your, just put your Diana said, it's not menstruation for nothing. 
<laughs> Good one. <laughs> Not to mention men on pods. <laughs> And then there's that. <laughs> okay, feels good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Better like and better. That? Yeah, you mm. like that. Rub it, mm -hmm. it takes off the dry skin, and, and the coconut oil starts releasing. Mm. And, uh, and it's sugar. <coughs> sugar and coconut mm. oil kind of tastes good mm. with what's left over. Wow. I like that you let me do anything to you. Anything. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm hoping you'll do anything. To it me. tastes like, um, like Can I have a, a little of your tequila. Yeah. Sure. It tastes like uh, something you'd rim your cocktail with. Yeah, oh, really? you know, like a sugar rim on a cocktail. That. We haven't yeah. tried it's, that. 